<laughs> and why wouldn't we be cheering our descent of a juicy Dargle River in County Wicklow? Sometimes it feels like the stars need to align to finally get to run a river in Ireland. I can't count how many times I've driven past the get on to this river in particular without getting to run it. Admittedly though, this one used to be on my commute to work. Nevertheless, it always felt like a bit of a tease on the days where I could see that it was running and having to drive past it. The east coast of Ireland certainly gets a lot less rain than the west, so you need to be a bit more patient with the rivers there. But when they do come in, there's some absolute gems up there. Of course, if it happens during the summer as well, then it's even better. So it looks like everything is going peachy so far, good water, and admittedly small but solid crew. What more could you ask for? Well that's what we were thinking too at the time, so much so that after our first lap we wasted no time in running the shuttle to go for round 2.
Now, there was a slight incident on our second lap. What initially looked like a nondescript capsize turned out to be a very unfortunate shoulder meets rock type situation. Adam was now in the river but managed to get himself out pretty sharpish. I decided okay. to chase his boat. With at least that taken care of, I had to figure out how to get back to Adam. He was only about 100 meters upstream of where I was, but we were pretty badly separated by a nice steep jungly gorge. It took me a while to figure out how to even get to him. The side we were on was so steep and dense with undergrowth that I could see no way to get through from that side. The water was too fast to walk or eddy hop back upstream, so I decided to cross the river at a safe place to get a look from the other side. It was still steep, but had much less vegetation. The camera was off for this bit, but over the next few minutes I managed to hike back up to where Adam was. Of course we were now on opposite sides of the river, but it was good to finally see each other again. Where Adam was, the river was much too fast to swim across safely, so I went back down to get my kayak so that I could paddle over to him. Getting the boat back up to the point was pretty rough though and even without the dense bush that was on the other side of the river, it was definitely a little sketchy at times. Luckily I got there eventually and managed to ferry across the river to the small eddy that Adam had caught. From there we discussed our options and decided we would try to hike up to get out of the gorge. Slowly we made our way up together until we got to a point where it seemed like we were stuck. We couldn't walk upstream and we couldn't zigzag up the gorge as it had become near vertical at that stage. At this point we called the emergency services. We were on the phone for a while and I started to get worried that the mountain rescue teams would have a hard time finding us. We were under what was essentially a cliff, with thick trees and bushes all around us. Luckily the temperature was about 17 degrees that day, but it had probably been about two hours since Adam's shoulder injury and I could see he was in a lot of pain. I made the decision to try and climb out and somehow I was able to scramble up until I found a trail. From there I just started running until I found a road. Amazingly, just as I got to the end of the road, the mountain rescue jeep was driving past with an ambulance. They spotted me as well and pulled over. I showed the rescue mountaineer back to the top of our casualty site and he started calling in the rest of his crew. Over the next hour or two, more and more mountain rescue volunteers poured in to help out. They set up a few anchors and rappelled down to Adam, who I imagine was pretty relieved to be finally getting some pain relief at that stage. Next they lowered a stretcher down and carefully pulled him back up. I have to say that the mountain rescue crew who came to help us that day were some really cool people. Most if not all of them actually work full time jobs outside of their volunteering, so it's seriously impressive that they can actually take the time to help out. I think I speak for both Adam and I when I say that if any of you are watching this, we're very grateful that you came to help us that day. And for anyone else watching, if you fancy helping out your local mountain rescue, I'll leave a link to that in the description below.